Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the 3D Maps feature to visualize your data. So I've got some data on the screen, as you can see there. Not a massive amount of data, but it's just basically dates, regions, quarters, and salesperson with a figure. As you can see, if I go back to the top, that's the data. And then I'm on the Insert tab, and just past the charts area, you've got 3D map and it's called tours. And if you drop the arrow down, you can see open 3D maps, same as clicking that. And then it will create, show you any maps you've already got. And then you can do a new one. So I'll just create a new tour and we'll start from scratch. So now you get the world as a perspective straight off and your fields. So you need to add a field in these boxes so that the, the graph can develop. So if I click on that one and let's go for location and straight away it jump, jumps into the UK and then add another field. So we'll go for sales and that starts adding sales by category and then you can go and pick whatever else you want there. So if I go salesperson you now get a different sort of graph and I've got these little arrows at the bottom here which I can navigate pivot the actual chart left or right up or down whichever way I want to go until it best suits what I'm looking for now I've got the legend on there I'll just get rid of this legend I don't want that so you've got that there I can zoom it in and zoom it out and then you've got some features on the top on the ribbon that you can actually select so I've got map labels I'll put that on because it's going to come up with the UK and I'll probably zoom in a little bit on this and then tilt it slightly so I can see it a bit better and then there you go add a time and then we've got date and now you've got a time scale along the bottom and when I play the tour, it will do the same thing. But you can have a little preview of how this is going to build up. Like so. Over time. So at the moment, I've got it by location, sales, salesperson. So if I don't want that, add the field location. That's the only field that's going to give it some information. So location. So it's now spotted it as the UK. And then you've got the options of the height of this. If I go for quarter, that's by quarter category. And then you've got different options there. So sales, it gives you the sales. I've got the time already. So location, quarter, sales. And then you've got the option to play that. And then it goes over time, plays it. And then if you want to change it again, if I just get rid of some of these, get rid of that, get rid of that. I need location, I'm going to leave date there, but you can play around with these different options there. So if I put that back to salesperson and by sales or quarter, let's go for quarter. So then you've just got four segments. And because I've got the timeline there, you can play that and it'll just build that up. You can zoom in and like I said before you can tilt this so you can see it a little bit better but that's how it's playing over time now next to these you've got drop down arrows on some of them which means you can select a different option and it's a case of playing around with that so if I went for quarter even though this is quarter let's see what happens now just slightly slower so you've got the different sort of filters there so I put none on that one on the city option location you've got quite a few different options but you have to have this data um, in your table really so that's just uh, the fields that you've got in this particular data list which is only these and across the top you've got this option flat map you can change that to be slightly different just zoom out a little bit so you can see it you still can tilt it's however you want this to display 
and then eventually once you've got it all ready you can create a video and just have this as a video and then send that video to various people so it's just a very simple video this is of how to use the map the 3d map feature create your own video produce your own visualizations of your data and then share it or email it to people so hopefully that was of use thank you for your time